Hi, I hope you like this video. It's a first look at the Grizzly G0796 milling machine that just became available. Uh, it, they've been selling it for some time, uh, but it just became available uh, at the end of August 2015, and this is early September 2015. I took uh, possession of mine about two weeks ago, and uh, I am pretty happy to have it. And here's what I've found. So enjoy the video. I hope it reduces your homework. This machine is pretty much a Bridgeport clone. It's extremely similar to a Bridgeport J-Head. It's a belt drive machine with a knee and a table and a spindle and a quill and all that stuff that we're so familiar with on bridge ports. So let's just assume it's a bridge port in features except for what I'm going to tell you which is different which is the three horsepower motor. It comes with a work light, a halogen work light. It comes with a DRO and it comes with a power feed on the x-axis. It also includes a one-shot oiler over here on this side. So that's really the difference. Now you'll notice on my machine that I've added a junction box. I tied all of the 110 volt accessories, the DRO, the power feed, the work light all together so that I could turn them all off and on with one switch and I added a switched outlet too. Other than that this thing's stock as a rock. Uh, I did also add a, an airline of course. That doesn't come with it. But the rest of the stuff does. And I haven't made anything on this yet. This is truly a first look video just so you guys can get an idea of what this thing is like. Please notice that this machine does away with the funky uh, transmission high-low shift that Grizzly has traditionally had on their machines. And this machine works just like a bridge port. You move this to low, move this to the side, and then move your spindle until it drops into place. Just like that. Okay. Just like on a bridge port. And that was a, a huge thing for me because I have some faith in that transmission. I've seen them last for many years. The build quality is not what you'd get with a fourteen or fifteen or twenty thousand dollar machine. But then this machine, uh, its regular price is fifty nine ninety five. So. If you're, if you're really thinking that you're going to get a $20,000 machine for $5,000, uh, they can help you figure out that that's not going to happen. Anyway, let's uh, move on to some of the specifics about this machine and what makes it different than all the others. I had been shopping for a Bridgeport clone for some time. I'd had a number of smaller machines uh, for many years and it was time to move up to a full-size bridge port in my own workshop. I was, uh, I'm not affluent, and so I had to try and find a very inexpensive mill. And I had been looking for a long time at the Grizzly G9902. However, um, I was ready to buy. I, was, I had the money in my hand. And I noticed on Grizzly's website that the G9902 picture and description had shifted in, uh, on their website. And so I wonder, well, gee, what could make that happen? I know, they must have added another mill. And he looked, and that very day that I was ready to buy, they had added the G0796, uh, which was the same size mill. It's uh, 9 by 49 and it had all of the stuff that I wanted, which the G990992 did not have. 
uh, so quite a few things. Plus, uh, I didn't like the transmission setup that was on the G0992. And I had gone and looked at it many times up in the Bellingham uh, warehouse. And uh, so I took a chance. And the day after the G0796 was first listed, I purchased one. And uh, it took six months to get here. But it was worth the wait. It's, it seems to be a really good machine. And now I'm going to tell you why. Um, first of all, the digital readout is about 500 bucks, 460 maybe, uh, if you can find one from one of the vendors online. And that's with, without it being installed. I have to install it. Okay. Uh, it has a halogen work light. That's not a big deal until you go to buy one. And then they're about $159. That was the cheapest that I could find a very similar light to this one uh, from China. And it would take weeks to get it. Um, also, uh, the power feed is optional on most machines. I think the G0992 did include a power feed, but I could be wrong. Uh, I know this one does. And that's an additional $300 uh, to my other option, which was a used Bridgeport or Bridgeport clone off of Craigslist or eBay. Well, many people suggested that I do that. And, you know, I would normally suggest people do that too. I've been in this trade a long time and Bridgeport works. So, you know, I'm as Bridgeport biased as anyone else. Until I looked at the price. For what I, for less than a, a used Bridgeport would have cost me, I got a brand new mill that does not need any scraping or anything. Everything's just right on the money. It's new. Uh, I don't have to fiddle with anything. I can just start making parts right away. And for me, that was a significant uh, decision maker. The other thing uh, that Grizzly has going for them is they have fantastic after service, uh, after sales service. I've had 23 Grizzly machines now, and I can call. Uh, or email up to Bellingham and oftentimes I receive parts three days later. Now I've also owned a lot of jet equipment and that's just not the case. Um, and I've owned a lot of other kinds of equipment too and it's just not the case. Grizzly is fantastic at their after-sale service and that's one of the deciding factors uh, keep that in mind when you're doing your calculation about whether you buy a new or a used machine. Because um, if you need a part and your machine's down, it's nice to know it's only going to be three or four days before you can get the part to fix it. Okay, so let's look at some of these features. The table size was important. Uh, if I were to buy an old bridge port off Craigslist or eBay, it would have a 42 inch table. This has a 49 inch table. Seven inches doesn't seem like much, um, but it's a lot actually. Compare the difference between a 35 inch table and a 42 and you'll see what I mean. There's a significant difference. The nine inch width is pretty much standard. Uh, but we have a 28 inch travel on this machine. Okay, it, it, the table moves in X 28 inches. That is a huge stroke. Uh, you can buy larger, but they're a lot more money. Now, this machine, its normal price is $59.95. Grizzly is running it for $47.50. And I got in on Grizzly's veterans uh, discount, which gave me an additional 10% off, which more than paid the tax. Uh, for this machine. Actually, it's kind of a wash. Just about paid the tax. So, I paid $4,300 for this and then tax brought it up to about $4,750 here in Washington State. So, you know, just that they would recognize me and give me almost $500 off because I'm a veteran is also a, a good thing for, for Grizzly. That's, that's a wonderful thing. Who else does that? Who? You know, I don't know anybody. 
The quill travel is a normal 5 inches, and then in Y, the saddle moves uh, 12 inches, which is uh, significant. That's enough uh, for most things. Um, the knee moves 16 inches up and down. Um, another one of the major features of this machine was that it has a 3 horsepower motor. Most of the bridge ports that you see on Craigslist or eBay have a horse and a half. This is twice as much power at the cutter. That's a significant amount uh, for less money. Uh, I can't even buy a used bridge port for this price that I paid for this brand new machine. Okay, it has eight speeds, just like every step pulley machine out there. Um, it has the work light, which is only 150 bucks, but it's 150 bucks. It has a, a, a Sino SD S6 2V two axis uh, digital readout. Uh, I'll have some more comments when we go over the digital readout, but uh, so far it seems to be wonderful and we've tested it to the nth degree, as you will see. Uh, I have some pictures of me unloading this machine by myself. I did have two guys here uh, who really wanted to help, but I wanted to prove that it could be moved by one guy. One old guy with a bad back can get this off of a U-Haul trailer and into the garage. And I have a series of pictures that I will provide that show that operation or that process happening.